welcome. This is Melissa Arno with a stock swoosh and reviewing Netflix. This was a stock swoosh show play of the day today, which is Thursday, January 6th. We also did some options in this. I've been I've been watching this for some time now, wanting to fall off. Although I'm excited about the earnings that are coming up. This is one of the first earnings. I think it's the the 18th or the 19th of January, I want to say. It's in about two weeks. So we shorted this. Let me just pull this up this one minute. We shorted this today. Great entry, perfect, got the drop, everything. You know, this was really a nice straight. So it opened, got the rally. Get this, this is stuck here. Got the rally here, shorted it, got the drop. Could it get out here? Or you could have held it all the way down here. In fact, the low of the day was 542-ish. Was looking for a 540 as the dream target. It actually almost got there. So let's take a look at the overall daily chart. Again, you can do a short in something that's very expensive like Netflix as a put, which is an option. It's a lot cheaper than having the margin of the buying power to actually do an equity trade. We did both in this, okay? When I really, really like something, when I love the gap, then I will do a day trade and an option in it, which I don't do all the time, but I do do it in gaps that I love. So anyways, we got this move yesterday. Beautiful move, came all the way down. Gap down here this morning with the overall market. And we did it. So let's just look at this. Yeah, I mean, this is still on the uptrend. I will say that, but look how far it's off the highs. I mean, it's hard to believe when you look at the overall market. 700.989. Let's take a look at the Qs right now. I see the Qs. <coughs> Excuse me. Have been much, much stronger the Netflix. You see what I mean here? So it's very interesting. But anyways, Netflix was a nice short today. Beautiful short today. If you did it, got out. If you did it and held it, we'll have to see where it goes here again. People are buying this dip. People are buying the bounce. It was very predictable that would occur. But again, we got one more day this week. We got all next week. We have then the following week, Netflix has earnings. I don't take things usually into the earnings, so I'm going to wait and see. We had some nice plays in this. Book the profits. Nice to see where this goes. Again, could this have more leg to the downside? It really is going to depend on the market, quite frankly. But I have liked Netflix. I was on top of it. I'm so glad we did it this week. It was a nice play. We're trying to look for very, very... Uh, individual things i should say like it, up until earning season you know we, we have to look for very specific things and again you have to be careful you know this time of the year it's still kind of like low volume this week i think after the holiday so you got to be very very picky i said i'm on my tippy toes i'm extremely picky right now this week i'm on my tippy toes we're making sure we book the profits that's the right thing to do until we get into the busy season the next class the first class for this year is January 29th and 30th, which is the Golden Gap. If you're interested in learning my strategy on gaps and then joining the trading room, you must take the class in order to become a trading room member. Um, then email me for more information. Have a great day, everyone.